We start with the massive wildfire engulfing large parts of a county in Kangwondo province. The fire agency says it has issued its highest level three alert, a level restricted to an incident affecting the entire nation. Oh, Gauri and he is on the line for us with the details. Saruni, so, what's the latest? Hi, Mark. The fire broke out on Thursday evening in Gosongguni, northeastern Kangwondo province, around 7 p.m. Korea time. When I spoke to the Kangwon Fire Headquarters this morning, the agency said a spark at a transformer near a resort spread to the mountain, and firefighters are still tackling the blaze. Although it didn't confirm details such as the exact number of deaths or injuries, local news outlets are reporting that at least one person was killed and around 10 injured. Thousands of residents and soldiers have evacuated to schools or gymnasiums. Around 250 hectares of forest have been burned so far. That's similar to the size of the Seoul's financial district, Yeoido. Officials say the strong winds are making the fire spread quickly, reaching 5 kilometers per hour. A strong wind warning was issued earlier for the province, and the fire has spread to the city of Sokcho, and 25 schools are shut down temporarily. And late last night, a mountain fire also broke out in the city of Gangneung, and it is spreading to areas near the East Sea. News outlets are reporting that some Mugunga trains departing from Gangneung are halted due to the fire. Well, we hope everyone stays as safe as they possibly can, but can you just tell us what the fire authorities and related officials are doing to deal with this dreadful situation? The fire authorities are doing all they can to solve the crisis. Almost 3,000 people are gathering in Sokcho to help in efforts to extinguish the fire. The National Fire Agency says 30 heli helicopters will be deployed or searching the injured. And because the wind is so strong, an official from the Gangwondo province added they're focused on minimizing the number of deaths or injuries. The firefighting process is expected to ramp up as it gets brighter in the day. That's all from me at this hour, Mark.